30 freaking episodes of Setup Wars, you guys. That is just crazy. <laughs> I can't believe I've already hosted that many episodes. Uh, but you know what? Since we're nearing the end of the year, would you guys like to see me do a video on the 10 best setups from Setup Wars? If so, let me know by dropping a comment down below. What's up, guys? It's Ed back again from TechSource, and welcome to Setup Wars episode 30 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you are new to the show and want to submit yours, make sure to watch the video linked down below. Let the setup wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. So this week we have a very special guest, Dimitri from Hardware Canucks, he will be showing off his sexy setup at the end of this episode. And if you guys are into PC gaming or other tech related content, definitely check out Hardware Canucks, I'll drop a link down below to their channel. Alright, so here are your 5 chosen for this week. We have Jacob, Hyro, Kenneth, Martin and Landon, congratulations for making it into Setup Wars. Episode 30. By the way, everyone's gear will be linked down below if anyone is interested. First up, we have Jacob with a tri-display setup hooked up to an Ergotech monitor arm. We have three Asus 24-inch monitors, a Mad Cat Strike 7 keyboard, and a few selection of mice. A Logitech G600, a Hama U-Rage mouse, and a Mad Cat's Fly 5 fly stick. On the left side, we have a pair of Razer Black Shark headphones, and we also have a blue snowball mic for recording audio. Cable management is pretty good for the most part, although I would clean up the wires on the right side a little bit, but overall, great work. You have a bunch of stuff on your desk, and we know that. I'm not quite sure why you need two different types of mice, but hey, I get it. You like variety. What you can do with that headset though is to hang it under your desk closer to your PC using the anchor so that way you not only have one less item on your desk but you don't have a cable running over it. But other than that, a pretty dope setup indeed, Jacob, thank you for entering. Hyro is next up with an interesting setup. We have two ASUS monitors, a 27 inch 1440p monitor as primary and a 23.8 inch 1080p in vertical mode which he uses for coding. On the desk we have the Corsair K70 RGB keyboard with custom Vortex white keycaps. To the side of that we have a Logitech G502 mouse on top of the white glorious extended mouse pad which you have magically kept clean. Also on the desk we have a pair of JBL speakers and a HyperX Cloud headset in white also. I love how you kept the black and white theme consistent. Excellent work with cable management as well, everything is neatly wrapped and kept off the ground. Uh, also I think your cat is plotting something. Off to the left side we have a setup for console gaming, a PS4 hooked up to a 32 inch LG TV and a pair of Astro A50s hanging from the Silverstone aluminum headphone stand. I haven't forgot about that sick PC though, I mean look at this, wow. We have a 5820K clocked at 4.5GHz, an EVGA 980Ti super clocked edition, 16GB of DDR4 RAM at 2666MHz and a gorgeous custom loop with black and white cables and painted parts. What a beauty. You know what guys, it's been a while. I don't have a single reason why this guy doesn't deserve the setup board's seal of approval. The organization, symmetry, cleanliness of the desk and even the mouse pad, plus the amazing color coordination and attention to detail. Ladies and gentlemen, the second ever setup board seal of approval goes to Hyro. Congratulations, dude. Hell, even the console is skinned to match the setup. Those of you who are new to the series, the seal of approval has only been given out one other time and I think that was on episode 17. But I do have to emphasize that receiving the seal is extremely rare and I don't give it out easily. So receiving a setup wars seal of approval, you get a prize. $100 in cash, you get a choice of a TechSource branded t-shirt and also a custom made one of a kind plaque congratulating you on winning such an achievement. So Hyro, if you're watching this, go ahead and email Setup Wars and claim your prize, my friend. Well deserved. So moving on with the show, at number three, we have Kenneth with a quad display setup. A 40 inch Samsung TV up top hooked up to the Xbox One, and below that we have a set of three Asus 24 inch monitors. On the desk, we have a bunch of stuff, a SteelSeries Apex gaming keyboard, Razer Taipan mouse, and an enormous soundbar in the middle of the setup? Really? 
We also have a pair of Razer Black Shark headphones off to the left side and a bunch of remotes on the right. Cable management can definitely be spiffed up a bit with some Velcro straps or wraps and you can definitely free up some space on your desk if you pick up a drawer and install it under your desk, if there is room that is. You will have lots of space in there to store your remotes and even room for the Apple TV. I know a lot of you guys are probably sick of me mentioning the drawer, but you gotta realize that there are thousands of new subscribers on the channel, so there are probably new people watching the show even as we speak. So every time I see the opportunity, I will mention it. Of course the headphone hanger wouldn't hurt either and if this was my setup I would definitely mount that soundbar underneath the TV on the wall instead of having it sit in the middle of the desk, especially that close to you. This setup has great potential once you fix a few things but nonetheless thank you Kenneth for entering. Next up is Landon with a minimalistic setup, two 25 inch HP monitors, a poker mechanical keyboard and a Corsair M65 RGB mouse. Talk about minimalism, you can probably fit that keyboard in your pocket. Off to the right side of the table, we have a pair of Astro A40s and beneath the table is a Bose SoundDock 3 speaker. Excellent work with cable management, I see zip ties keeping your wires together and off of the ground. The custom PC on the other hand is running on a 5820K and an ASUS Strix 980 GPU but a little too much red in there, even for my taste. I would hate to see that glossy table of yours being scratched, so perhaps picking up a black and red mouse pad to match your theme and protect your gear. But other than that, I have nothing else to say. Very clean setup. Thank you, Landon, for entering. Last but not least, we have Martin with an ultra-wide setup. We have a 34-inch LG ultra-wide monitor hooked up to the Silverstone arm, and on the desk, we have a Logitech K800 keyboard and G9 mouse on top of the huge Natec Genesis mouse pad. Also on the desk, we have a pair of Creative T20 speakers, a dock for charging Xbox 360 controllers, and all the way on the left, we have an audio mixer. Excellent work with cable management. Wow, now that is a very clean job. Showing behind your setup takes a lot of guts. I give you props for that, Martin. Even the PC cables are wrapped neatly inside and outside. We have a 4790K, GTX 780, and a Noctua NHD14 CPU cooler inside the Corsair 350D case. I also just noticed that you attached an SD card reader behind your monitor. Very clever indeed. That's actually a really smart place to put one. And lastly, we have a Logitech G27 wheel for them racing games. After all, you have to take advantage of that ultra wide. Very clean and organized setup overall. Martin, thank you for entering. So before we move on to the main event, make sure you guys drop your comments down below and vote on who has the best desk setup. And as always, I'll announce the winner on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. So make sure you guys are following me there. All right, so now Dimitri is gonna be showing off his sexy setup. Dimitri, go ahead and take it away, man. Hey guys, this is Dimitri with Hard Rock Canucks, and thanks to Ed for having me on the show. Welcome to my setup. First, let's start with what's on the desk, and I'm a dual monitor guy. These are Acer XB270 HU G-Sync monitors with 1440p resolution. And aside from the nasty glossy finish on the frame and the base, these are actually fantastic for productivity and gaming. And everything I produce for Hard Rock Canucks goes through these pixels first. Now notice I don't have any speakers on my setup, um, that's because my ears have been sort of spoiled by the wonderful HD800 made by Sennheiser that powers pretty much all of my audio needs, but for gaming I use the Game 1 headset with an open back design for directional cues and it has a fantastic microphone. Speaking of the microphone, here's my 5 year old Audio Technica 2035. Now this thing goes wherever I go for voiceovers and it's connected to the Scarlett 2i2 interface which sits beside the O2 headphone amplifier that does a decent job of powering the HD800 headphones. My mouse of choice for now is a Zoe FK1 with fantastic tracking and if any of you are CSGO fans, uh, this mouse has improved my aim by a lot. Beside it is a Cooler Master Novatouch TKL keyboard which is compact, super simple and tough with my favorite keyboard switch, the Topra Capacitive. Highly recommend it. My desk companion is this Trabant toy car and it's as slow as in toy as in real life and you just gotta have a plant as well to bring out some green within all this deck and fun fact it sits on top of my power button. So powering this entire setup and my life basically is a recently built crazy editing PC based on the latest Intel Skylake platform with an i7 processor, 16GB of RAM for now but soon to be 64GB 
with dual GTX 980 Ti's and only solid state drives, which makes editing very pleasing. And it's all housed inside this beautiful aluminum Fantex Evolve ATX enclosure, which also adds a really nice workstation vibe to it. I sit on this thing for most of my day, the Vertigear SL4000 chair. Uh, now looks aside, it's actually very comfortable and helps with my posture when I'm going for that 8 hour editing marathon. Beside the editing then is my shelf that gives me enough surface area which is very needed for organizing upcoming videos and builds and believe it or not actually gives a dynamic background when I'm filming right in front of it. I'm a bit of a mouse collector, so here's where they sit, along with some of my other gaming gear, and so this side of the office is basically full that acts as open storage and backdrop at the same time. Swinging things onto the other wall, it's plain white with my dual lights and a simple tabletop. This one's glossy for getting those cool reflection shots, but I love this setup that grants me all the maneuverability that I want. And so that's basically it. Thanks to Edgar for featuring my setup. I hope you enjoyed. So that's it for this week's episode of Setup Wars. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. And a huge thanks to Dimitri for being on the show. I'll go ahead and drop a link to their channel down below. They have a bunch of sweet content. So make sure you guys subscribe. That will do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much again for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.